All right. Welcome back to your fourth week of your Discovery Ed assignments. Now, this week I'm going to be doing some stuff that i got to make sure that you guys do not do at home. Okay? Now, I want you to make sure that this stuff is something that you guys never, ever do at home. This is why I'm doing it here. I won't do it in front of you guys as a class, but I'll do it on here just so you guys can see how it works. Okay? So let's start. This week, we're talking about the rock cycle. Okay? Now there's three steps. One, sedimentary. Two, metamorphic. And three, igneous. Now today we're going to go through every single step. And you're going to see each step as it happens. Okay, so let's start with the very first one. Now, last week we talked about erosion and weathering. Now, sedimentary rock happens because of weathering and erosion. And as we already learned, weathering is breaking down and apart of stuff, and erosion is moving those pieces somewhere else. So let's start with the first one that happens because of weathering and erosion. That's sedimentary. Sedimentary rock. Now this rock is kind of little pieces. Now let me give you an example. This cup is full of crayons. Now these crayons are very special to me. Well, not really. They're just my crayons. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this hammer and I'm going to break them apart. Now, the more I break these apart, the more they break into tiny little inky dinky pieces. Now, as these break apart, you'll see they become tiny, tiny pieces. Now, these tiny pieces are what they call sedimentary rock. Now, what happens in the sedimentary form in the world is a huge rock, a rock that nobody would have expected, comes slamming down against the tiny little pieces of rock, and it starts breaking them into tiny, inky-dinky pieces. These pieces start falling apart and breaking. Now, this is where it gets complicated. Now, this paper will be a symbol of what Earth can be like when it's clean, when there's nothing on it but Earth. Now, as these pieces break apart, they start breaking into tinier and tinier pieces, because of sedimentary rock and bigger rocks breaking into pieces and these rocks piece together in a pile. Now, as you can tell, this hammer is a lot heavier than any of those tiny little rocks. So what happens is this. These tiny little rocks then are folded together and they're hit even harder and smashed over and 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 over. And over. And over. And as these start happening, they start forming new rocks, new pieces of rock. Now, as you can see, there's a whole new blue and purple rock on this piece of paper. It's not a drawing. I could peel this rock off, and it's one big rock. Now, see, that's the thing. Sedimentary rock is breaking them into pieces. And as you can see, my table is a mess with all of these pieces of sedimentary rock. Now, when the earth starts folding over on these, we go into what we call metamorphic. Now, metamorphic only forms when pressure and heat come together. So let's do metamorphic. Now, these metamorphic rocks have been broken down, but then they're pressed and heated really, really hot. Now, these heated rocks fuse together and form brand new rocks. Now, these brand new rocks, after they've been formed, are put into even hotter spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take broken pieces of rock and I'm going to put them in this pan. Okay, now this pan has something special in it. Okay, now this pan will have all of the necessity, everything we need for getting the next step. Now, as you know... We have sedimentary, which are broken pieces of rock. We have metamorphic, which is fused together by heat. And now we have something even better, what we call igneous rock. All of the pieces are then put into a big pile, and then they are heated. Heated to something that's hotter than anything you know. Heated to something hotter than most all of us can care to learn about. This heat is constantly burning. And as it burns, it gets hotter and hotter. And as it burns, you then have 
igneous rock. And as this igneous rock gets hotter and hotter and hotter, it then starts forming what we call the metamorphic rock. Now, as we burn, and as this starts melting, I'll show you right here. It starts forming different colors and forms together. And as these form together, we start forming something more powerful, something not many of us know, but it's called igneous rock. Now, as this igneous rock is forming, it starts making one massive, multicolored, cool, beautiful rock. Now, this igneous rock only forms in the center of the earth. This igneous rock is so beautiful that it's not just one color of rock, it's many different rocks. And as these many rocks come together, they form many different colors and variations. And as these start burning and blending together, you start seeing something even cooler happen. You have one igneous rock that is made of many, many colors. These rocks are now no longer one color. There are many different types of rock blended all in one. Now, as we heat stuff, and as the stuff heats in the center of the earth, in the molten core of the earth, it melts and fuses, causing igneous rock. The only place on earth that you'll ever be able to find igneous rock is in a volcano. After it explodes, it immediately hits cold air and it freezes, kind of like ice. That liquid water then freezes, just like ice, and the rock freezes, just like ice, forming brand new, beautiful, colored rocks. Now all that work for this little tiny piece of rock, let me show you right here. Brand new, beautiful colored rock. All that work for that tiny little piece of rock, yes, but that's what the earth goes through. It starts breaking them apart, hammering them down. And then it starts smooshing them together with that same weight of that same rock that broke them into pieces. And then it melts them and forms a beautiful, beautiful rock. You've probably seen this rock. This rock is on the countertops of all of our houses. It's in Starbucks and McDonald's. It's called marble. If you look at the floor that we have here, this is called fake marble. But it looks like many different pieces of rock have been melted together. You have a challenge this week. I want you to do your discovery and assignment and answer what is these three types of rock. But I also want you to go outside and see how many different types of sedimentary, broken pieces of rock, metamorphic pressurized rock, rock that's been squished together but can break, and the beautiful igneous rock, the one that's only done by heat. Okay? Sedimentary, broken a piece. Two, metamorphic only done by pressure. And three, igneous, only done by heat. Now remember, igneous rock is hard to come by. But if you can find it, I will award you one extra free homework pass if you can start finding some beautiful metamorphic rock. Good luck on today's assignment. I think you'll do well. Right below me, you should see some videos. I want you to go through those videos and those assignments. Go through the words, investigate. That's my challenge. Do as much as you can with the rock cycle. So next week when you do your assessment, you'll do great. Good luck, you guys.